सभाई प्रधान आलिया राय मेरे दो पीसा की काले सीसा की गड्डी मेरी धूमे ठंडी जमे कट्टी मेरे दो पीसा की काले सीसा की गड्डी मेरी धूमे ठंडी जमे चरण स्पर्श बाबू ने मेरे बना फिर गणा चौधरी यार सारे साबू से मेरे आड़ी पे काबू से फ्राइडे इज हियर एंड आई हैव गॉट टू क्लीन द मेस सॉर्ट एवरीथिंग आउट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड दिन में न्यू ऑन टाइम शाम में परियाना हम तोंदे फिरे हमने कोई काम ना है पीछे देख तू गाड़ी के सारी सुख सुविधा ले रहा हूं भरया पड़ा पूरा हरियाणा पढ़ के देख मेरे नाम ने पढ़ के देख मेरे काम में तन दिन में दिखा देंगे तारे किन को न पाओ गाला केंगे रैप पे इतने सारे बस कहानी कुछ भी थारे बोझ धर Friday again. I still have the ethnic suit worn for the Friday prayers, but most of the time of the day, I'm sleeping. What a wastage of a Friday! Yesterday was Thursday. There should have been an introductory footage on Thursday. I just came back from college. It was the last viva, the last oral examination. I changed my dress. Ate nothing. Yesterday I was just sick. C e e e e e e e e e e. Week, a lot happened inside the room though i broke the tap this is what happens when you fix your tap mess all mess you fix it with a pen you fix it with your glasses on protect your stuff <sighs> Another thing happened. My very good neighbors on the side of my room, they were very generous to drop a ton of empty plastic bottles on our door. What the f Yes. There were tons of them. How the hell were they getting so many bottles in one place? That was like damn. Dehydration is a thing in Bangladesh, of course. Water loss is a thing in Bangladesh. Yes. You have to drink lots of water. Yes. But it was not water mostly. It was soft drink bottles. Guys, why aren't you God save their blood sugar levels. <laughs> belong to you <laughs> At the time when my last video came out we went to a place called I don't know I don't remember the name of the place but it was a great place no it was not that great of a place but yeah it was a good place we did uh, go on a water boat its paddles broke and we were like we were rescued <laughs> such a shame we were literally rescued like hey it was the guys whose boat we rented and of course saved us not saved us they saved themselves whatever also received my first 
first ever voiceover offer. I received it on Upwork. In case you do not know about Upwork, guys, it's a great website. Uh, you should go and check it out. Upwork is a great resource for freelance a side income, side hustle, what people call that. It's great for students. In case you have an extra talent like graphic designing, voice acting, I'm not very serious about it at this point of time because I do not have a quiet place to record voiceovers. Otherwise, I would definitely work hard for that. I did receive my first offer, but I declined it. It might sound very creepy that, oh, Sophie, you just received your first Upwork offer. You just declined it. Sophie, what the, what the hell do you think of yourself? Sophie, are you a hero? Do you think you're a superstar already? No, nothing like that. I just dropped it because they were underpaying me for my services. By that, I mean... Oh god. <laughs> Before I get further to this, I had a lot of complaints last time people asking me to change my angle. Sure guys, I will change my angle. Let me get to a better angle. The new place sucks. I would never undercharge for myself. The amount of work that goes into making a voiceover, it's huge. And paying me $15 for 700 words. Voiceovers don't come cheap, especially when you do it for corporate videos. And I was offering them for a very dirt cheap price. I told them straight away, I won't take this offer. People will use you because you're new. And this stuff just doesn't apply to the businesses no this just doesn't apply to voice holes. it applies to every aspect of your life but you have to be cautious that's what you'll need to be successful don't let people use you ever make them understand and realize that you are priceless i cut my sandals but the problem is i do not have an extra sandal so 